is my channel wasting gas today I've got a treat for you I am driving a Camaro ZL1 1LE that's right the new big bad boy on the street from Chevy I've got a hold of one I'm gonna have some fun in it I'm gonna let you know everything that I think about it and uh, yeah give you all my opinions see you on the road having a really fun trip uh, so uh, I heard of, I had I had this opportunity to get a hold of a brand new I have 64 miles on the clock uh, Camaro ZL1 1LE that's right the big wing all the aero the suspension the spool valve shocks all the good stuff this bad boy's got it all uh, this thing is, is incredible. I've had a few minutes to, to drive it now. I've put a couple of little miles on it. And I, you know, I haven't done anything crazy. Um, haven't taken it on like a road trip or anything. Uh, but I got some glamour shots in and some stuff. Uh, you know, all that good stuff. And I've driven around town uh, for a little bit. And yeah, uh, this thing's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I, you know, we all know the stats, right? So we all know... This has got the LT4 engine, the same one that comes in the Corvette Z06, the current model Corvette Z06. Uh, the, the engine, I, this is my first time driving one. And honestly, oh my God, it, it absolutely lives up to the hype. Um, it, it's very docile uh, just driving around normal and then absolutely wakes up when you get into some boost. Uh, and, and you start making some power. Um, everyone knows, and if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. So the engine, this motor makes 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. Uh, it's, again, a supercharged 6.2 liter V8. Uh, and power is just absolutely everywhere. Uh, the car itself is a good bit still slower than... Uh, my Z06, my C6 Z06 with the heads in the cam. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe a good bit slower is is unfair. Uh, it's it's <laughs> it's not like you're gonna be like, oh my god, this thing is so slow. No, but it's absolutely. This car is definitely heavy. Uh, it's got a ton of power to make up for that weight. Um, but you know, there's only so much that that physics will allow. You know, it just is what it is. Um, so the, the car is, I'm get, I'm guaranteeing you it's faster than 90% of the cars that, uh, anyone watching this video is driven. Uh, it's, this thing is, is absolutely powerful. It's super fast. Uh, it definitely does what it needs to do. The magic to this car though, is all of the aero and suspension wizardry that GM, uh, put into it. Uh, so basically, uh, how can I explain the ride? Um, Stiff is an understatement. I'm going over some railroad tracks. Oh, yeah, those are... That hurt. That hurt a little bit. Um, stiff is an understatement. This is a... 
this is harsh. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think that anyone that would be considering daily driving this car doesn't even understand the point to this car. Uh, but definitely, I don't know. I mean, I guess theoretically you could daily drive it. I certainly wouldn't want to. Um, yeah, this thing, this thing's stiff. It's definitely stiff. It's, it's, it, regular surface bumps that even my Z06, uh, might soak up. This thing's not soaking anything up. It's, it's hitting hard on top of the suspension being stiff as far as negatives for daily driver status. Uh, one of the other big negatives is the tires. These tires are amazingly grippy, super gummy. Uh, they, they get up the temps real quick. Uh, it's a great tire for the track, but that's therein lies the exact thing to this car is that it's a track car. Anyone that is that is searching for this vehicle as a daily driver, as just a cool Boulevard Bruiser, honestly, in my opinion, get the regular ZL1. Uh, this is, I, I feel like this just isn't, isn't the car for that. Uh, the regular ZL1, I think, fits that bill perfectly. Um, now, having driven this car, uh, it's incredible. Um, the, the new generation Camaro, the, the leaps that it made over the last one uh, are just, it's, it's huge. Um, anyone that's driven the older Camaros, uh, inside feels like you're in a pillbox. You just got these little slits to see out of. Um, this, you know, it just feels big and it never kind of shrinks. This new gen Camaro, I'm not going to say visibility is awesome. You're definitely still feel like you're in a chop top uh, type vehicle, uh, but it's much better, much better than what it used to be. Uh, and the size of the vehicle is not quite as apparent driving it. Um, if I'm honest with myself, as I'm sitting next to other vehicles in traffic, you know, the vehicle feels small to me, but as I look at other vehicles in traffic, I can tell that I am still the same size, if not bigger. Um, whereas for example, in my Z06, my C6, uh, I feel normal in that car. Uh, and then I look at the other vehicles around me and I go, oh my God, I'm looking, you know, two feet up. I'm, I'm barely coming up to your trunk lid. Uh, so there's definitely uh, something to be said there. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a reality to it. Uh, it's definitely pretty, it's still a big vehicle. Uh, it doesn't feel as huge though as uh, the last generation. Camaro. That's, it's just the truth. Um, so that's, that's definitely something, uh, to think about, you know, if you're, if you're kind of looking for one of these cars, uh, one great plus to the daily drivability side of things is this clutch is absolute butter. It's butter, baby. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's, uh, it's very, very smooth, very light. It's amazing how light it is. Uh, I'm going to keep comparing to my Z06 because it's what I know. Uh, and since I have a C6 Z06, I know that, you know, it's an old car. A lot of people have experienced uh, that car. So I'm hoping that by continuing to compare it to it, then, you know, you can make your own comparisons. Uh, but I'm running a, a Z06 and I've just uh, recently done the ZR1 clutch, twin disc uh, clutch in the Z06. And that clutch is much heavier than this one, though I'm sure this one is much more powerful, much more capable. Uh, that one is still uh, much heavier than what this one is. This one somehow is much smoother uh, to engage um, and easier to modulate. <laughs> stretch over the road. Anyway, um, yeah, much easier to modulate, much easier to deal with, uh, you know, much just much smoother, much lighter. Uh, my clutch, you can definitely tell there's two discs in there. That the way that it grabs, it's, it's just a little bit different. Um, and like I said, it's a little bit heavier. It's not crazy heavy. Uh, anyone that may remember the old cable clutches, you know, from like the 90s and the early 2000s, especially like in the Mustangs, uh, they ran cable clutches for a long time those you needed a freaking you know that was that was a leg day in and of itself 
you know, nowadays that's not necessarily the case. You know, they're not that bad. Uh, you know, the, the, the hydraulic clutches don't just aren't like that. So since I'm talking about the clutch, I'm gonna talk about the transmission. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about it. Um, I don't know how I feel about this shifter uh, or the gear sets in it. Um, I feel like they could have gone with a little bit shorter gearing, uh, which I guess is what the 10-speed uh, uh, ZL1 would be solving, the problem that solves. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I, the gearing feels a little long for me, which is kind of crazy to say, but uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I just need to, to beat on on track a little bit uh, to kind of understand the gear, gearing. But I definitely don't like the shifter. The shifter is a lot longer throw than I thought it would be, thought it should be. I feel like nowadays um, the technology has kind of come up and yeah, there's kind of, there's there's no need uh, there's no need for that. I, I don't know. I feel like it's just no need for this long of a throw. It's, it feels it feels awkward. I don't know. It's kind of like stepping back. It's not quite as long as the old C5 uh, shifters but yeah I don't know I think my, my C6 C06 shifter is shift is shorter than this one um, but whatever it's quibbling at this point so basically Chevy built this car to fight and go after the GT 350R um, I've seen some different reviews on those two cars and some different channels that have uh, taken the, the two cars out and I've seen mostly the, the regular ZL1, not the, the one LE. Uh, but one of the things that, that they all say is that this car is lacking in drama. And I have to agree. Uh, you know, I haven't had a chance to, to drive a 350R. I've seen them on the track. Uh, and the, the, I've seen 350s. Uh, I've passed a bunch of them. <laughs> uh, but I've seen them on the track. I've seen kind of what they can do. They're impressive cars. The noises they make, the way they look is, is absolutely there. This car definitely adds to the drama with the appearance of it. I mean, just that giant rear wing and, and the canards and whatnot, are, it's, it's, this car is nasty looking. I mean, it's insane. Uh, but inside the car is honestly, there's not that much drama. Uh, it sounds good. I can hear it. Uh, the sound that it makes is, is good. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like it could be louder. I feel like there could be some more pop pops going on in there. Um, there's a few that I can kind of hear, uh, but I, I don't know. I just feel kind of tame. Like I feel like the car was just controlled. You know, I, I, I know in the back of my mind as I'm driving it, because I, I've seen, you know, I've seen all the reviews. I've seen the things that people have done with it. And I know that these things, you know, it's a complete beast, but I'm not feeling it inside. Um, I don't know. I kind of wish, I kind of wish it was a little more dramatic. Uh, I don't know. Even though it's not as dramatic as I'd like, definitely the car is special. There is no doubt about it. You get inside and you've got this beautiful Alcantara steering wheel with the flat bottom rim. You've got this, to me, honestly, the dash and, and the way everything is integrated is just absolutely beautiful. It's simple. It's clean. It's understated, but still beautiful. Uh, there's Alcantara just everywhere. There's almost everything you can touch, you know, has some sort of either Alcantara or leather or something. You got a little bit of plastic on the door, but the seats are phenomenal. Uh, the grip, the lateral bolstering, man, it's just, it's making me realize how bad my seats are. Um, and for those of you that follow on my channel, you know that I really hate the seats in my car. Like, really hate the seats in my car. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this, this is definitely a great place to be. I could see uh, spending a good bit of time in here. Um, I, I don't know if I'd call this thing a GT car, because obviously, you know, like I said, it's... Uh, <laughs> It still goes. It's fun. It's still fun. All right, let's see how fast I can take this little car here. All right, got a little ramp. 
Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> this definitely stinks. This definitely stinks. It's not even. There's there's no way. There's no way to feel what this thing can do uh, on the street. Not not if you're even remotely sane or it just can't. No. This this yeah. Anyway. Uh, so <laughs> it's definitely a great place to be sitting. Uh, again, everything feels good. Everything feels uh, very high quality. Um, it's 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 just nice. It feels nice in here. Uh, it's something that the older Chevys just don't have. Um, so it's really nice to see GM doing this and, and trying to get it right, trying to be a little bit closer to its European counterparts. Um, I'm not going to say that it's at you know full on European, you know, a C63 or C. Uh, you know, a C-Class Mercedes or, uh, you know, the, the M3s and 4s and whatnot, I, they're probably still a step nicer on the interiors, but, uh, yeah, anyone that remembers GM cars from a few years ago, this is a giant leap forward. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty great. They've done a good job with that. Now, what about the attention factor, the wow factor of the car? It doesn't really have any. I think the only people that are going to stare are the people that know exactly what it is. And those people do stare, but as ridiculous as it sounds at this big winged, you know, front splitter, huge canards up front. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the area that I'm in down here in, in uh, Orlando, but I, yeah, I'm not, I haven't really gotten... Gotten a few looks and waves, but nothing compared to, you know, what I, I would get in my car, what I got in the uh, the Skyline, if you watch that video. Like, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's not doing it, unfortunately. Um, I, I don't know. I guess that, that just goes right back to, to what I was saying about the drama. There's just It just feels like there's no drama. And I, I realize how ridiculous that sounds, uh, you know, given those of us that know and understand what the car is, it's crazy, but there's, there's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's this, this car happens to be white. Maybe white isn't doing it. Maybe in a brighter color, it might, uh, get a little more attention. Uh, but the white and black to me, a looks absolutely stunning. B, uh, is just the best in contrasting for all these carbon fiber, pieces and parts and, and, and the way everything kind of goes together. Uh, it's to me, it's beautiful. This is, this is exactly how I'd order mine. Uh, you know, so I don't know, but point is it's, you know, I, it's not, it's just not getting attention. Uh, I'm sure probably different parts of the country maybe would be, uh, but I have a feeling that 90% of people it's a Camaro, it's a Camaro, it's a Camaro. And, you know, when you sell a 20 some odd thousand dollar V6 Camaro that a million people have, then the, you know, $75,000, uh, 650 horsepower Camaro just flies under the radar. Maybe that's what you want. If that's what you're looking for, if you want something that does just kind of blend in, but performs and just bang for buck, this is a car. Let me tell you, bang for buck. This, this car at, what, 70, 75,000, whatever, you know, with the options that it's got, whatever, it's got, this one's got the PDR and whatnot in it, uh, but I, I don't think, I don't know that there's anything better. Uh, I mean, this performs at and above the C7 Z06 uh, with the Z07 package uh, on mo in most tracks, on most places. It's, it's, if it doesn't beat it outright, it's, like, right there. Uh and we've all seen videos of C7s, Z06s, and the Z01s, you know, racing in Mexico, and there, I mean, it's, it's almost just a dead even heat, uh, they're right there with it, so the car is definitely bang for buck, I, there's not a lot of cars that are going to hang with this, especially out on a track, uh, so this, that is, this is, this is the king, I think, at this point. Um, we'll see what the ZR1 does, but I highly doubt it. I'm pretty sure that's going to be at a different price point um, and, and just not going to 
I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe Chevy's going to pull out and just increase the performance so much that now it's competing with the $300,000 cars versus the, you know, $200,000 cars. Um, but in that respect, yeah, this thing's definitely got it. Um, <laughs> uh, it's still fun. I don't know if you can see my freaking man boobs bouncing and jiggling, but... This thing is stiffly sprung. Those the, the spool valves are stiff. There's no question about it. Um, you know, it's definitely it's it's a it's a jarring ride. Uh, and I got a guy in an SUV that just did some pretty crazy driving to show me that he's really cool and fast in a what is that a terrain? I don't even know what the hell that is. A little SUV. Uh, oh, he's trying to take pictures. Well, there you go. We got a little bit of attention out of it. So. Some people do care. He, he almost killed himself to get to get some pictures. So, ching, there's one score for that. Uh, but, yeah, anyways. Uh, so, I'm absolutely in love with the car. I think it's phenomenal. Obviously, I've only been able to, to drive it on the street. Uh, hopefully, someday very soon. Uh, the owner has already agreed to let me take it out uh, to Sebring. But this guy likes to get rid of his cars every five or ten minutes. So... <laughs> Who knows? By the time that I can set that up, uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm hoping to be able to get a, a Sebring track day. Uh, if not, well, I don't know. Who knows? Down here in Florida this season lasts all year, so quite possibly here in the next couple months. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. Jesus, this thing just stinks. <laughs> this, this thing stinks. It's, this is good stuff. Um, uh, yeah, wow. Between the power band everywhere, the the solid brakes, the tight suspension, this car is pretty amazing. Uh, GM really did a great job with it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've just been loving every second that I had with it. And I'm hoping that uh, this little review makes any sense because I'm so, like... Uh, just, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. This thing's fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this thing's a, been a, it's a beast. It's a blast. Uh, it's got a ton of power and the grip is insane. The, the few places that I'm able to kind of turn a little bit, I can, I can feel it. Uh, it's, it's pretty incredible. I, I want to get it on track. Once I get it on track and you can actually, you know, feel then what the car is, is actually doing, uh, you know, then we'll be able to kind of see and try and test the arrow, but there's just, there's just no way to test that kind of stuff on the streets. Like they're just, it just isn't not, I just, I can't. Um, but yeah, anywho. All right, guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for me. I've drooled and I have talked what I can about the car <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what else there is to say, uh, but I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with it. And I hope that you enjoyed your time with me. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you pound that subscribe button. Keep up with all my content. I'm constantly doing different things and I'm trying to get more content up quicker. Uh, I've been struggling at work and I've been, I, my computer broke out to get my computer fixed and all kinds of stuff. And, oh, train tracks. Ah, ah God, I need a backy out of me. All right. Anyways, guys, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, comment, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Let's keep up to date with all the things that are coming. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.